Craig here and in today's video tutorial I'm going to be showing you how you can easily downgrade your WordPress version to a previous version. Now the reason I'm creating this video is because yesterday a friend came to me asking for help to downgrade their WordPress blog because after it auto updated to version 4.0.1 he was telling me that it had broken his website. Turns out it wasn't related to the WordPress update, it was a plugin. However, I figured I would create a video tutorial and show other people just how easy it is to downgrade to a previous version of WordPress. So to start off, what I have here is a video test blog. It's on the domain smartphonecameralenses.com and inside the dashboard, you'll see that I'm running version 4.0.1. So let's just say my website is broken and I need to downgrade my version of WordPress and I know this because after I hit the update button it broke my website. Now this does happen and it happens generally because the plugin or the theme has some kind of conflict with the latest version of WordPress but generally what happens is the author of the theme or the plugin comes out with an update and a fix so if you have to revert, this is how you can revert back to a previous version of WordPress. So the first thing you need to do is head over to wordpress.org because you need to download a previous version. Now, if you're in Canada like me, it's possible that the version of wordpress.org may look like this because this is the default one, this is the Canadian one. Now, what you need to find is the archive downloads. So on the Canadian one, we're gonna click on download and then here we have the different versions. On the default one, we if we click here, it'll take us to the download page. And then we have release archive. And this is where we can locate the previous versions. So in this video, we are going to revert back to version 3.9.2. And we're going to download the zip file to our hard drive. It's a small 6 megabytes, not big, so it should be downloaded pretty quick. And we're going to open up the folder where it's downloaded to and I have to unzip this zip file. Now I prefer 7-zip so I'm going to click extract here. And it's going to extract all of the files in a, you know, in a separate folder. So inside of this WordPress folder we have all of the default WordPress installation files and you know WP includes and WP admin. So the next step is we have to connect to our domain name via FTP or File Manager. I'm going to use an FTP program called FileZilla. So I'm going to click on my Site Manager and connect to my uh, video test domain. I'm going to click Connect. Now this domain is on Wealthy Affiliate Hosting, so you don't see public HTML, you see HTTP docs. And inside here are my WordPress installation files and folders, etc. So what I need to do is first delete WP admin and I'm going to hold my control key down and select another folder called WP includes. So I want to delete these off of my hosting. So I'm going to right click and select delete. Now there's about a thousand files. So I'm going to press pause and we'll be right back. Okay. So those two folders or directories have been deleted. And next we need to upload the previous version folders and directories. So what we're looking at here is the folders and directories on my hard drive and I'm inside my downloads folder. We don't see the WordPress folder because I need to refresh my screen. So I'm going to hit refresh and you can see that I now have my WordPress folder here. So what I have to do is upload these files and these two folders. But I'm going to jump over to the actual folder and just go over something. So we also need to upload all of these files, the WP includes folder and the WP admin folder. Now in this version of WordPress that we've just extracted, there is no wpconfig.php file. We only have wpconfig.sample.php. If for some reason you see wpconfig.php, you need to delete that file or make sure that you do not upload it because if you upload it, then you are not going to be able to get your website to connect to your database. So one option if we have the folder open to upload files is we can simply select the file we want to upload and drag it over and it will upload to our hosting. 
So what I'm going to do is select all of the all of the files, hold down my control key and select the uh, two additional folders. And I'm going to drag these over here. Now, the FTP program is going to realize that some of these files need to be overwritten. So I'm going to click always use this action and press OK. Now we have over like a thousand files that need to be uploaded. And while that's uploading, what I'm going to do is just refresh my dashboard to show you that the website's broken. Nothing's working. We'll refresh the home page. It's all blank. So I'm going to press pause and we'll be back once these 800 files have finished uploading. Okay, so the files have almost finished uploading and it says I have no failed transferred and successful transferred 900 plus files. So everything has gone smoothly with the uploading of the files. So we'll just let this finish, it's finished, and we're going to minimize this. Now when I hit refresh, it should work perfectly fine. And it does. However, when we go to log into our dashboard, you should be granted with a screen that asks you to upgrade your database because the database doesn't reflect to the, the WordPress version that we're running. So this is the screen that you should be presented with. So just hit update WordPress database and then you will be able to log into your dashboard. And there we go. No, oh yeah, sorry, we reverted back. I was thinking to myself. So we are now running version 3.9.2. So that is how easily you can downgrade to a previous version of WordPress. If you need any help, uh, feel free to post a comment in the YouTube comments, or you can contact me via my blog, thewiseaffiliate.com. Have a great productive day.